there was a man named Israel, and he had twelve sons. Israel loved his one son named Joseph the most. Israel gave Joseph a colorful coat because he loved him so much. Joseph's brothers were jealous because Joseph was loved the most, so they came up with a plan. Hey, look, Joseph is coming. Let's throw him into this hole. Yeah. Wait, let's grab his coat. And dip it in blood so that father thinks a wild animal has killed him. They gave the bloody coat to their father. Their father knew it was Joseph's coat and cried out, This is Joseph's coat, and he is dead! Meanwhile, some people found Joseph in the hole his brothers had left him in. They took him out and sold him as a slave to some passing merchants for twenty pieces of silver. The merchants brought him to Egypt and sold him to a man named Potiphar. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his household. Now Joseph was very handsome, and Potiphar's wife fell in love with him. Joseph ran away from her. She told lies about Joseph to Potiphar, so Potiphar put him in jail. The king, or as the people called him, Pharaoh, put his cupbearer and baker in jail with Joseph because he was mad at them. The baker and the cupbearer both had disturbing dreams and had no one to tell them what it meant. The baker and I both have disturbing dreams and we have no one to tell us what they mean. God can help me tell you what your dreams mean. In my dream, there was a grapevine with three branches. I took off some grapes and squeezed into Pharaoh's cup, which was in my hand. Then I gave it to Pharaoh to drink from. This is what your dream means. The three branches are three days, and in three days, Pharaoh will make you his cupbearer again. Now tell me the meaning of my dream. In my dream, there were three plates on my head, and all kind of baked goods in the top plate. But there were birds eating all the food out of it. This is what your dream means. The three plates meant three days. In three days, your head will be lifted, and Pharaoh will hang you in a tree, and the birds will eat your flesh. All the stuff Joseph said came true. Two years later, Pharaoh had a disturbing dream. The cupbearer remembered Joseph and told Pharaoh about him, so Pharaoh summoned Joseph. Joseph, can you tell me what my dream means? No, but God can. This is my dream. There were seven fat cows coming out of the Nile River, and seven small and sickly cows coming too. The seven small cows ate up the big ones. Your dream means that there will be seven years of good crop, and then there will be seven years of famine. And then Joseph said to save one-fifth of your crops for seven years, so that you will have food for the seven years of famine. So Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the whole country to save food and store it up for the famine. When the famine did come, Joseph had the country prepared for it. The famine didn't just affect Egypt, it affected other countries too, including Canaan, where Joseph's family was living. Our family needs some food or we are going to die. I hear there is food in Egypt. Go, my sons. So Israel sent ten of his sons to go buy some food from Egypt. He did not send his youngest son for fear he would get hurt. When his brothers arrived in Egypt, Joseph recognized them. But they did not recognize Joseph. You did not come here to buy food. You came here to spy out the land. No! We are honest men. We all share the same father, and our youngest brother is at home with our father. Prove to me that you have a younger brother at home, and bring him here. I will hold one of you captive until you return. So... Nine of the brothers went back home to get their youngest brother and return with him to prove that they were not spies. It was hard for their father to let Benjamin, his youngest son, go. When Joseph saw Benjamin, he got his servant to prepare a meal for his guests. When the meal was ready and his brothers were seated, Joseph could not control himself and shouted, I am Joseph, your brother. Is my father still alive? Then Joseph wept, very loud, so loud that you could hear it from the house of Pharaoh. Joseph's brothers were shocked that Joseph was still alive. 
Pharaoh gave permission for Joseph's whole family to move to Egypt. Joseph was reunited with his father. Joseph's whole family moved to Egypt. If you guys want to know something cool, this is a true story. These events happened over 3,000 years ago. And if you want to learn more about Joseph's story, you can find it in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.